arsenic cigarettes um, that were used in the past medicinally. Um, they are they contain tobacco, and then the the um, cigarette paper is impregnated with arsenic. I, th I thought this item was would be of interest because it's uh, National No Smoking Day, and um, at the c in the museum at the moment we've got a display on um, the relationship between pharmacy and smoking. Um, so it looks at how smoking was used as a medicinal treatment in the past um, and also how medicines are also developed now to stop people smoking. So I thought this was an interesting contrast to the medicines we have now to stop people smoking. This is such an extreme example the opposite way where tobacco actually 100 years ago you could take it as a medicine. Okay, um, tobacco, was, um, tobacco and other med medicinal substances were smoked because um, at the time it was the most, they believed that if you got the medicine into the lungs that would be the most effective place for it to work and at the time, before the invention of inhalers in the 1960s, this was the best way you could get a medicine into the lungs. So um, a lot of um, medicinal cigarettes didn't contain tobacco, they had other things like belladonna in them which um, opened up the airways but these ones um, these arsenic cigarettes the arsenic's in it because arsenic was given as a tonic and it was be believed to um, help um, increase respiratory power and um, yeah tobacco obviously to get the ingredient into your lungs um, tobacco, um, tobacco stopped being smoked as a medicine by the 1930s when um, it became more compelling the link between cancer and tobacco. Arsenic was still being used as a tonic in minute doses in the 1940s but that went out of fashion as well. And um, with other um, medicinal cigarettes, with the invention of inhalers in the 1960s where you'd get a, a powdered dose into the lungs you didn't have the irritant effect of having smoke in your lungs, so that was a more effective treatment. Um, t medicinal cigarettes, such as asthma cigarettes, were still available up until probably the 1980s, because we've got a packet in the museum display as well from that period, but it was definitely dying out by then, and it probably was no longer being regulated by the mid-1980s, we think. Um, the, dis the display um, that charts the relationship between pharmacy and smoking has um, a range of medicinal cigarettes, including um, a packet that has cannabis and belladonna, which was also for bronchitis and asthma. And then the, the second half of the display charts the development of um, making medicines that help people um, wean themselves off the smoking habit. That's, and that starts probably in the 1950s up to the present day.